not made from leather because is leather really the best option for wallets? For example, this is really durable. Really, really durable. I love these little bar tacking bits right here just to ensure that these don't come off. It's not made out of leather. Here's my Bellroy leather current wallet situation, which I love. I'll link to this below. It's got three cards. This comes off so I can charge it via MagSafe. You can see, even just yesterday while running, there was a big divot taken. I like the way that leather patinas over time. I do. I like the soft, sort of supple feel, the alive sort of, um, I don't know, organic feel of it. These have this tactical, techy, very like, this is like Elon Musk's wallet when he goes to Mars. He's like, well, in case we need some, you know, cash for the commissary, uh, it's important to have a wallet that uh, is minimal and uh, has enough pockets, but, but not too many. You can definitely feel the magnetic closures here. And that goes a long way to making it feel, okay, you're feeling the tactile quality of the material itself. You're feeling the way that it speaks to itself, like, you're feeling that closure with the magnets. It's a strong enough magnet. It feels really good. There's just something about having that kind of wild law of nature sort of physics attraction built into your life on an everyday basis, like probably several times a day getting into here. A little bit like having Einstein in your pocket. This ultra slim chlorosulfonated polyethylene synthetic rubber is 0.7 millimeters thick, okay? It's thinner than an actual credit card. The sleeves are welded and it is 10 times more durable than rubber, according to them. I mean, leather. 10 times more durable than leather. The thing that you're gonna notice about it though is just this like, texturized, kind of gritty, very like techy. You get a sense of that rubber, almost silicon kind of thing, but it's much more, it's not tacky and it's not sticky at all. You can see the welded seams around here. It's not tacky or sticky, so getting it in and out of your pocket is really quite easy, but it does have this very robust technical feeling, like tactilely. There are two versions. One of them has a sleeve for coins, rubbers, all sorts of stuff. By the way, what wallet are you using right now? I did a big wallet roundup last year. I wanna do another one. Comment in the, in the comments. Tell me what wallet you're loving. What's your favorite wallet? This little coin pouch is dope. To have that in a wallet, all right? In a wallet where you have card on the inside, card on the outside, and then coin pouch. You actually have a spot to hide something back in here, a little bit of a hidden spot, but it is not big enough to get a credit card under there. So I think cash could fit back here. Yeah, fit some cash back there, and then you got coins right there, and then you got a card right here, and a card right here, probably two cards in here. Now the other wallet is no coin sleeve, all right? Just card, card. I've got some cash in here to give you a sense of what can go where and card on the front. No card on this one. I wonder why they don't put a card right here on this one since you've already got it right here, right? I guess it helps you determine which side. You can, you can get into your pocket blindly and just feel which side it's at, little things like that make a difference. I like having just one card on this front one because why? Because actually I can't do the slippy thumb. I have a, even with a licked thumb, I have to actually pinch. So one card, one card for me, all right? 
Now, I don't have a lot in here. I have two cards here and a little bit of cash. So pulling these guys out, I have to pull this out and then do a little switchy switchy to see which one I like. So that's two cards. What does this get me that this doesn't? A little spot for cash, which I tend not to carry. I do tend not to carry. But I, like RIP, my, one of my close friends, Scott Dinsmore, he used to go to the bank always and he'd have $2 bills. He'd go get $2 bills because this is like a, this is a tip and a trick for life. You get a bunch of $2 bills and that's what you tip with whenever you tip. Tipping ballet, send, you know, sometimes you're tipping six, sometimes you're tipping ten, sometimes you're tipping two. But you've got two dollar bills. People who like two dollar bills. I like the idea of having two dollar bills on me. I've never gone to the bank and done that because I don't want to carry any cash on me. I like the people who have cash that can just pay for stuff with cash. That's kind of cool. Dave Ramsey, stop using a credit card. Just uh, get everything out cash and that way you know when you're done. I think that's interesting. If I was living cash, I would probably need a bigger wallet than this. I want these guys to make a bigger one. Like my favorite wallet is probably about this size, but it folds in half, right? Perfect size for that butt pocket, okay? That is a little too wide. It's like, it's like that size. That's, that's probably perfect. I want them to make a big fat one like that. Throw a bunch of bills in there, have easy to get cards. Because what we're talking about is getting the card Maybe even from within a pocket, you keep it in here. With some practice, I know that this is gonna be doable with one hand, even getting it back in. I don't have to worry about this falling out. I don't have to worry about that falling out at all, right? I also don't have to worry about these coins. Scratch that. At least I don't think I have to worry about any of these coins. The reason why I don't think I really need to worry about it is because this is actually a very solid little hinge. Look at what they're doing here. Look at the solidness of this hinge. There's one on either side, and you gotta click pretty good to get it open. It's actually broken in a little bit. This is one of the things I like about everyday carry items like this. Like leather, like this kind of, like this hinge, it actually, it breaks in a little bit over time. It feels really solid, like it's not going to lose its springiness. Um, but when I first started doing this, it was hard. <laughs> It was hard. The way this thing's gonna break down in your pocket over time, the way this thing's gonna start to look after lots and lots of use, they have a lifetime warranty on this, apparently. Like, I'll tell you what, those magnets, they're never gonna run out of attraction for each other. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but those magnets are always going to pull on one another. Ooh, gimme, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come here, 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 I gotcha. And this material itself isn't gonna break down the way that organic material is, not in the same way. You've got welded edges everywhere. It's just like, it's yummy, you know? It just is like one of those things you're like, oh, that's my wallet. If I was switching from my Bellroy to this thing, I would have to go for the, uh, for this. I'd want to see what it's like to carry, to carry with this guy. Because A, you could just put cash in here. You don't have to put coins. You could carry around some personal items besides, you know, credit cards and stuff. I do love having a coin pouch on a wallet like this. I think this makes for a lot more useful stuff in Europe and Canada, you get your loonies and your toonies. But the idea of like personal items, things that you might need on the go and you wanna have with you, but you don't wanna have to carry a backpack, a sling, anything bigger than what you, than what you need. So highly, highly minimal items. So what's your take on these questions? I will try to answer them in the comments below. I feel like they're extremely well designed and well built. Feels like a really good company to have on board and Jen's the founder. Uh, these are designed uh, in Germany. So they've got some German standards. Mm. Minimal. Links below support the channel. Thanks for watching. Let me know what wallet you're loving. Check out the other wallet video. I'll link to that in the comment that I pin. If I don't pin a comment, remind me. Like this video and subscribe if you're interested in honest sort of reviews of everyday things, everyday things. And uh, be yourself, everyone else is taken.
Bye.